Welcome, and follow me as a Xiaomi 13T Pro, and today I will show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. So, starting off, let's open up our settings, and we're going to begin by navigating into the display. Here we have a couple things, so we have the light and dark mode. And you can obviously turn on one of them, whichever one you like more, but if you are the type of person that wants to have, for instance, dark mode during the night, you have the option to select a schedule mode, which will switch between these two modes based on the provided time or sunset to sunrise. So, obviously, giving you the best of both worlds uh, alternative here, I would argue. Now, moving on a little bit further down, we have the color scheme. and Every device basically comes with a vivid mode enabled, uh, which saturates the color a little bit too far, in my opinion. I am personally a fan of more toned down colors, so something like original or, yeah, I think original will be the best one here. Boy, are they like not much different. So here you don't really have much of a difference between them. I'm still gonna stick with the original colors, restore uh, standard colors of screen content uh, with color calibration so this would imply that this mode is also color calibrated not sure uh, how correct it is to what extent it's calibrated so can't really vouch for it something that we'd need to check out if you have the little tool to check it out i don't but still it's a little bit more toned down so i'm gonna stick with that one and moving a little bit further down, or one spot further, is the refresh rate, and it's set to default, but we also have a custom. Now default, actually, uh, isn't 60, it's 120 with a variation of 60. And custom allows you to hard set one of those two, 60 or up to 144. Now, that being said, up to 144 still includes 60. So, in reality, uh, the refresh rate of up to 144 and default are the same. These two options are exactly the same. Uh, kind of begs the question why are they se separated into like two different options giving the illusion that you have more choices. Uh, but yeah, now uh, I'm touching up on this just because if you are the type of person that wants to prioritize battery life, you might want to change it to 60. This will then run the display permanently at 60 and not no higher and this will increase your battery life when when it comes down to screen on time now moving on into another option by scrolling all the way down we have this blue text uh, control center and status bar and here we have something that i personally find useful which is the uh, notch in individual apps now i won't be able to showcase this right here um, uh, but for instance i tend to use steam link so I can connect to my computer uh, from my phone. And Steam Link for some reason, at least on other devices, uh, haven't checked it out in here, but I assume it's gonna be the exact same, tends to just kind of like cut out. So it will just leave the status bar out and only show you obviously the content below the status bar downwards, right? So that would be your entire screen. Even though in here it would be set to auto, so it should technically cover, cover that up as well. Um, it doesn't, at least not from my experience. So if you experience some kind of applications where they just ignore your uh, status bar, don't really go over it, even though there should be full screen, completely full screen without showing you the status bar, you might want to navigate in here, find the said application, and then change it from auto to always, sh uh, actually not always show not, but the other one. And this would show you, supposed to, should remove the notch, or well, I'll remove the notch. Uh, remove the status bar from whatever it's trying to be full screened. Now moving on into another option, it's going to be the drawer mode, which this device doesn't actually come by default with, with enabled. So if you wanted that, you would navigate it to home screen. And then home screen, we have classic. We have uh, with app drawer or light mode. Now light mode is more of the big icons for elderly people and all that stuff. More of an easy to use device. I am interested in the drawer mode. Once enabled, give it a second to load up. And now we have our app drawer and we can navigate through it. Uh, 
When it comes onto Xiaomi, they also have the search bar at the bottom and they have categories at the top, which you can customize. So you could have different categories, remove these ones if you don't want to and just for instance have like couple categories that you're interested in and have easy access to, for instance, communication. Uh, just as an example, this will show you basically anything that connects to internet, entertainment. So you can see it neatly organizes them. Now, that being said, these apps are being automatically sorted, so you don't need to do anything extra. Uh, the, I assume, app developers put categories on them, which then get sorted into uh, these, uh, let's call it folders. So you don't need to do anything extra. Once you install a new app, you can just, for instance, go to whatever it would be located in, like tools, and find it in here. And obviously you can always find it under all if you're looking for it. And yeah, that will basically sum up all the tweaks and tricks that I want to show you. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.